All right, hello and welcome back to Dang and Rompa V3. Now, last episode we completed the um, second class trial, and I believe Kirumi was the one who did it, which was actually a shock. Wasn't expecting that, but yeah, it's been a while since I've played, mainly because God of War Ragnarok came out. It's a good game. If you haven't played it, you should. But yeah, let's get back into this. So yeah. Picking up right after the class trial. <clears throat> okay. Resonance run what you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. What is this? Resonance run for covers an object believed to be a meteorite approaches. You can clearly see the meteors raining down. There's more than one. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. This okay. is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. What is that? Grave. Transfer student from beyond the grave. It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Makai's lab on the third floor of the school building, and waiting us there was an unexpected sight. Oh yeah, because Makai's actually the ultimate assassin, not the um ultimate child giver. Come on, man. Ooh, what the heck is this? Mm. It's like a weapon warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Makai's the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the Moto video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew that Makai's true identity because he had her Moto video. And because you saw mm -hmm. that... Hmm? I knew the whole time, given my position, I'd obviously known before any of you, right? <gasps> Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave her away that she's the ultimate assassin. <laughs> Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now, but that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows, right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Hmm. But whatever did she lie about the ultimate child caregiver? Because <laughs> assassins hide to do all their killing. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be! Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She had many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's How heart. How rude! Please take back what you just said. I can understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Give me data, please. Right? If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do me. <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her, but what about next time? Azatura says so. Best let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer that is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. Uh... I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? huh? But... Got it! I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Oh, uh, wait. You don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak attack! A sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. Sneak attack strike before she does? Shouldn't Akito Master be saying these It'll things? It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Atua will. Then I will. Atua and I will work with everyone to uphold that's the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom poms out of my mouth. Wow! That kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave Ma leave Makai to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <sighs> Ultimate assassin, my ass. Always messing around. Huh? Kaito, don't do anything stupid. Okay, okay, let's leave everything to Kaito. You get it? 
Gonta, you said you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? Hmm. Oh yeah, sorry. Come on, man. Hey, Gonta, like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Oh god. Well, well. Oh, I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. <laughs> Monokuma. Stay back. Everyone, get behind Gonta. Nico, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. Be quiet! I just said I don't need your usual reactions. You're annoying. It's almost halftime, so the stat should be over out soon. Everyone, so the stat should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. Now then. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Hey! I said I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Oh? Oh? Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming. That's strange. Rise and shine, er sign. Rise and shine, er sign. Yay! They're finally here. Yeah, you're so cute. Today it's practically obscene. Seriously? Just wow. You guys are seriously cute. Have you always been this cute? <laughs> yeah. the sh okay, bro. The shock of my super cute kids is making me go bald. <sighs> like about to fall out. What the fuck is? I'm not even. Kidding. He's actually balding. Ugh, gross. <laughs> ah, I'm cold, very cold. My cute little cubs, could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry, I want to go somewhere warm. Oh? Oh? Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? We, Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Huh? So then. From now on, I will be calling the shots. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. It's old. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long. You've become predictable. It it's the age of the monocups now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? Well, what? But what about all the longtime fans? <laughs> anyway, you're just some has-been. Don't you? Anyway, you're just some has-been. Why don't you retire somewhere and work on your tank? <laughs> Has been? Wonderful. Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do, do you really think you can defy your dad? You think I'd forgive such. You were saying. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. They really finna. Did you forget, Father? Only we can pilot the Exosols. What? Really? How could you forget that? Thank you, Father, but the Academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, Father. No, no way, are you saying that- Are you saying that treating you like my kids, my- my, my property was wrong? The worst of the worst. It's completely and utterly wrong. No, no, no. No, 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 no way! He's bald again. It seems the shock made him bald, this time for good. So then. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have you bastards. A wonderful us. prize. Uh, um, let's see what the prize is this time. We're giving away a golden We're... hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. I mean, bravo, bravo. We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. Hmm? I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh man. oh man, we didn't need more junk. We had way too much anyway. And his name is Kibo. It's robophobic. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. Let's get along. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Actually. Also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. So long, farewell! Hmm, <laughs> jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma's way better. Damn it, I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. Shit. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I've recorded your intolerant remarks, and I will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so... So what are we going to do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places. Woohoo! Yay, a new area means we can all have lots more fun. Uh... I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school secret. Okay. 
If that's the case, then we'll deal with the murder girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro, I leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, got it. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect but... you. All that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? Uh... Um, let's just leave him here. Uh, I suppose we should go try out these items around the school just like last time. Damn, bro. Monokuma is like fucking. I'm not going to bother. Yo! I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, alright? Okay. Well, I don't mind, but. Hmm? You don't mind, but what? No. No, it's just that when we were talking about Makai, you looked really upset. Ah. Well, yeah, I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's. I can't believe it either. She doesn't seem like she could be some terrifying assassin. <laughs> huh. Terrifying, huh? Don't worry about it. Either way, leave Makai to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. What's this? There are three black cases lined up. Do they all have weapons inside? Uh. Whoa! I exclaimed in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't be real. No, of course they aren't real. They're airsoft well. guns. Uh, of course, Monaco wouldn't give us real weapons. Exosols may be strong, but if we were to revolt with real guns, Monaco would never allow that. If these weapons were real and if Kirumi were here, she might have taken us all out in order to escape for her people. Damn, bro, I forgot about Kirumi. There are a lot of different weapons here. That guy knows how to handle all of these. That's, I guess, everything. Yay! If a new area opens up, that means more fun for everyone. A two and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun Cause school life. Because is watching over us. A two sees every, everything, even what everyone truly huh? desires. What everyone truly desires? Maybe. That's right, a two is always watching over us. How everyone. divine! That's a two for you. He's so divine. I feel like Angie's getting more and more creepy. Alright, where do I gotta put these? Just happening all at once is just too much for me. Ryoma's case was a shock, but then to find out Kirumi ran the country and Makai's an assassin? An average citizen like me can't keep up. I'm not sure the ultimate cosplayer is to be considered average, but I'm glad I'm an average citizen. If I ever had a reason to live as strong as Kirumi's, or if I ever lost anything important like me to Ryoma did, if anything like that happened, I probably would have just cowered in a corner I somewhere. Guess. Putting aside whether, whether what Kirumi did or Ryoma was right or wrong, I think it's amazing that we were able to do anything at all. For people like them to die in this place is just not fair. Yeah, we need the key for this door. Oh, damn. The door collapsed. Looks like we can get to the back now. What I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us. Huh? You think? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. A world full of jests. I suppose that's true. Staircase. We can get to the fourth floor now. Uh... I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is it's there? It's okay. Don't worry. Gonta will protect you no matter Thank what. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit um... you. Hmm. Tuxedos are essential for gentlemen. But masks well. too? I should go. Yeah. Uh. The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive I let a shout out without real. Uh, um. What is going on in here? Actually. 
So, um, this is a major story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place stop here. Stop it! Please stop, if I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Um... Oh, but she say it made up stories, so that means it's okay, right? So long, farewell! <laughs> Yeah, this feels this is like some weird ass haunted house. Fuck. Oh. Right room. What was that? Is that a fucking ghost? Candles barely lit a dim, dusty room. Hmm. This is creepy, hard to see too. It seems like something would appear in an Augulant manga. This is there's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is going to pop out at you. These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh, oh, this floorboard got no nails in huh? it. Really? Hmm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross. That's piece. true. I suppose it's not just my imagination, what? but each floorboard is thick and they got no gas between them, so it look okay. I'm going to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. What? But it's pretty dark here, it's a little hard to see where we're stepping. Uh -huh. And in the corner there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. The candles on the walls are the only light in this huh? room. There are no windows here, it get pitch black if candles what? go out. Uh, please don't put them out, I really don't like the dark. Well. I can't imagine many people do. This doesn't seem anything else interesting in this room. This doesn't look like there's anything important here, just an empty room. Oh! Oh, this is not only empty room, you see. Three same looking doors in hall, right? All those rooms empty just like this one. And they only got candles for light too. Ah, mm. uh, so there are three of them. Mm. Anyway, we know gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty rooms like right. this. Um. <laughs> then can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of a time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown. Well. There are no windows though. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. Okay. <coughs> are these windows? Like, what are these? It's weird looking at it. This must be an ultimate door to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. I should look inside. Ultimate anthropologist. Oh, it's this guy's room. It's almost like a huge museum or library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them are very rare. <laughs> it would appear this is my lab, the ultimate anthropologist wonderful. lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts the glee, not even a university's lab just so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point thinking about it, nothing in this place makes sense. There's a large wooden dock statue on the pedestal, it looks pretty old. Some kind of strange pattern to it, it makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? That's, that's... <laughs> Incredible! Oh, can it be? I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Kyo, hearing with excitement, reached out to the peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can this be? There's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, um... Perfect for what? What are the statue engaged for? I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is the momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. Something in this case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. Rest in peace, but it looks, but it looks about a yard long and so sharp. It almost looks like the uh, katana in the first game that Makoto had in his room. It was like the one with gold all over it. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. You were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it's merely coated with gold leaf. Ah, so it's not made of gold. That said, katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars or worshipped as gods. That is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I want to take a look-see. Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. 
<laughs> Wait, you mustn't touch it without- okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unseed the sword. Mm. Now this katana is the real deal. It's even gold plated for the authentic look. Yeah. Hmm, I see it could also be used as a murder Hold weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly. I'll tear out your nerves. I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Okay, I get it. Don't make such scary <laughs> threats. Kokichi slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa! Ew, my hands are all sticking. That gold plating flakes off so easily. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. You if you nerves. do again, I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Kyo sounds like when he gets angry. What do you got to say, Kokichi? <laughs> this is the first time I've seen Kyo get so mad. He's scary when he's mad. If he tore up my nerves, I think I might cry. There's a book in the display case. The bookcases were f the bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. <laughs> Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible! It is. How amazing! It's actually real. Um. What is that book, Kyo? Uh, it's an extremely precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. The Cage Dog Village. Yes. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. One of a kind? That is valuable. I see, yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are a few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay on the, the eyes on the real one. What a trick of uh, fate. Um... Ah, Kia, what did you mean by reputation? The rumor goes that spells and dark arts are inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why I was buried here in the darkness, along with the entire cage dog village. But it seems that those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed was premates every letter. This is getting weird, I think I should just end this conversation. I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've nothing. I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. By the way, Suichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. All of them. The one I find the most interesting is the one called the Cage Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are used to be in this very sentence. To discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before you me. See. So would you like to try? Let us converse with the let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in that occult. Mm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are the uttermost importance of anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures. Yes. No. Yes, but talking to the dead. Say. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the huh? dead? Huh? Speak with the dead. If that were possible, I suppose I'd like to talk to her one more. No. No. No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I want to say is we've escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be blasphemy. Forgive me. <laughs> I lost myself. One must call on them at an extremely the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. <clears throat> it's packed with books and scrolls. They're withered and old. That's true. I don't think I could read all these if I had a million years. Okay.
What is this? Like a hanging scroll, but blank. It's the door to an ultimate lab. From the looks of it, I'd say it's art. Should investigate a little. I got the doorknob and turned it. Hmm. It's locked. <coughs> How boring. Yep, seems like I guess we can't go in. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. But that was locked, too. Uh, um... Both doors are locked. How are we going to get inside? <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret tag. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening. The door slowly opened. Yaha! Can I help you? <sighs> Angie, you were in here? Hey! hey. I feel the weird chatting out here, but so let's all go inside already, okay? Oh, pushy. Come in, please come in. Ever polite, Angie invited us into the lab anyway. Ultimate artist. There are various art and carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist hmm. lab. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. He says this costume is probably made for huh? me. What does that mean? I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second, we said I was gonna answer that eh? question. No, we didn't. Is your memory getting worse, Montero? Ah. You promise, because I don't remember you not promising. Stop it! That doesn't make any sense. I don't care! So what? Just let me do it if you don't. I'll stick my hand in my butt and then shove it in your mouth and then rattle your molars around. What the hell? Ah. That's unsanitary. Ah. Wait, Mono Dam, we weren't fighting. We were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. It's fine, as long as you're getting along. So? So what's up with the key? Actually. Oh, yes. Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. Yeah! I too is so is too much shy to become one with me in front of all people. Hmm. Wow, like a porn star. <laughs> How? It's the opposite. And then? So any room where I'm going to make art needs to have a key, but I'm surprised the Mono Cups yeah. knew that. Huh? Hmm. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Um... Um, what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. Um, Calm down, I'm even because... worse. We know everything about you, bastards. We are all friends. Because we want to be your friends. I don't like that. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Why? Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I, I won't that. forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. <sighs> now, now, Mono Dam, we haven't given them the key to this room, has we? Here it is, but there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then. Let me see that key. Mono Dam swiped the key from Mono Fang as he left it into his mouth. Um, nom. Nom. <laughs> He ate it! Ah. He swallowed it! Beep, beep, beep. Ah. He's flatlining! Uh -oh. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke because. on it. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. Let's get along. I want everyone to get along. Ew. Oh, Mono Dam, you're so reckless. So... Let's carry Mono Dam away for now. We'll carry him like a kind of boss taking care of drunk of a. We'll carry him like a kind of boss taking care of his drunk employee. So long, farewell. Oh. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh... But I'm only gonna lock this door when I'm inside working, so I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Ah. I guess that's fine then. By the way. By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? Hey, that's probably why this lab fits Andy's taste so well. So does that mean the school specifically made for us? But... Monokuma's claimed that before, but is that really possible? This giant complex was built just for the 16 of only us. Atua knows it's for a sure. miraculous mystery that only Atua knows. But it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> that's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that?
what is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Hmm. Wax sculptures, huh? You can make those? Yep, yep. Unlike wood or stone, wax is a soft texture for a sculpting. Oh. Oh, but a two is the one who's going to be doing the okay. sculpting. But, I see. But... but it does seem like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. A wax death mask, that's kind of scary. Oh, look, Suichi, the ceiling is pretty unique. You're right. Yeah, exposed beams. Mm. I wonder, is it supposed to be like this, or did they not finish it in time? Oh, Those cheap knockoffs are useless. Like that time they mix up the cups. Uh, I don't care, this bare ceiling doesn't bother me. Cause Atua says so. Atua says it's more sensitive when the skin is peeled back. Wait, what? Huh? This door is the one we used to come in. Um, this door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? See, it's got a sliding lock slapped on here. If I here. remember correctly. All right, and the door that we use. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the door is a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. Same classroom has two different kinds of locks over the doors. That's mildly inferior. No, no. It's perfect that they're not the same. Uh. Symmetry is a Western beauty idea. They're like symmetry and the golden ratio. And, and then? But I think asymmetry and partial functions are more beautiful. <laughs> Well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. Can't sit long silver from the flashback light. I have other places to check. <clears throat> so I guess, yeah. We still have two more items, but I guess we're done on this floor. Wait, I have to go out to the courtyard, I think. <clears throat> there are fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Hmm. Really? Huh. Well, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but Himiko's... But this is Himiko when she's no. mad. No, I was just blown. <gasps> what? From your own compliment? What? Himiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. It's the only reason you don't do it. Um... So where am I supposed to go? Oh, right here, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be this. Oh, damn. Huh? Building? What kind of technology suddenly makes a building appear? Wow! It's not just any building, it's a dojo, so it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right! Like, I wouldn't care if a chef came by a car or a train, as long as it made me good food. Not really the same. Well, what's in here? It must be an ultimate research lab from the look of the building. It's the ultimate Akito's master's lab, I'm sure of it. Well, 
Let's go inside. What Don't be shy, pain. Amiko. Ladies first. What a pain. Hmm. Yep. Pushing Amiko along, Tenko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose I should check inside too. Whoa, this is a huge dojo. The tatama mats are new, and they smell nice. Damn, there's a lot of shit. Is this a pillar? Why is there a pillow here? The scaffold suspended in the air with chains. Is this for some kind of jump training, like a huge kung fu movie? This tatama match are new, they smell nice. What is this? Is it a large doll made out of wood? Wait, it is a doll. Is it supposed to watch over us and protect us? What a pain. There's no mana here, this is not my kind of place. See, this is my last jerk. Why are you angry? Wow. I'm so happy I can't contain my emotions like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of him. That's amazing! Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure a sparring will be incredible but... here. Without a sparring partner. <coughs> ha -da! Oh, damn. Yeah. What was that for? Ow, ow, why are you throwing Listen me? Up. Nikito Akito is super serious martial art. Instead of shredding, we just fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the huh? heart. You're going to start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait! This is just kidding? Why did we go straight into actual fighting? Got it! You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Sushi? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. lack self esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can just still that I can tell you still question right. yourself. <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by uh, doubt. Okay. You might be right. Listen up. You know it works real good at lifting all that doubt. Nikito Neo Akito, because Akito is itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures pure heart above all else. Himiko. It's about you, Himiko. Right. If we combine your magic with my Neo Akito, then we will able to solve things by force. By force, I thought this was about being pure heart. I don't want to do any exercise, it's too much of a... Damn, her too? I see, it seems you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste, you have the richest heart of all. That's right. You should do Neo Akito, Himiko. Training your body will help express your emotions. Now. Come sweat with me, and afterwards we'll put the showers together. My back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Oh, you're angry? I can see it in your heart. Okay. Even I can see that. Um, what else is there? Suspended scaffold. There's scaffold suspended in the air will change. Is this for some kind of jump training like a kung fu movie? <laughs> I think that's it. <sighs> what's that over there? <laughs> Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back what? any longer. No. no, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. So good. I won't make things. I won't make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot Just better. Just the tip is fine. Wait, what? Hey, yo. We can take this position to the next level, please. But Mew, we come shouldn't. Come with me! It'll be fine, just come with me, we'll do it together. Pulling on Kiba's arm, Mew made her way to the Ultimate Adventures uh, lab. Um... What was that? I just saw something that I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on, just in case. What? We're checking? This is not gonna be good. This? Careful not to make a sound, I opened the door and peeked inside. 
Her she's like disassembling him for parts or something. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Okay. Man, you're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. This is um not weird at all. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. <coughs> you must feel so pent up. I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll feel much better afterward. Oh, um, thank you? Oh, yeah, your chassis is firm. Really firm. Like, damn. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. Careful, be gentle. That tickles. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might... Might what? Oh! <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> so that's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. I closed the door without a word. Mew was doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed, nothing about that. Yeah, surely. <laughs> nothing else is going on there. Where am I going? Do I have to talk to them? <laughs> Where's the, th the third floor? you doing here? Monokuma stared at me in silence and disappeared in the hallway. Uh, um... <clears throat> I suppose he wants me to follow him, but what could be down there? Follow him? <clears throat> Monokuma was glancing back and forth at me in the picture on the wall. Uh, um... Hmm, this picture? Huh? I see it's not a canvas, it's a pane hmm. of glass. Perhaps. Maybe she used the item I haven't All used right. on this yet. It's worth a try. I used the hand I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. I knew it. So I thought there's a hidden passageway here. I don't know what he's up to, but this really did help us out. The passages might look different than the haunted house, more like a factory. Hmm. This is eerie in a different way. Computer room? What is this shit? Looks like a fucking... Looks like the old Xbox, almost. You bastards! If you've come this far, that means you solved the painting Wonderful. puzzle. Excellent teamwork. Yeah. Huh? What teamwork? It's just Suichi. Because That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. <laughs> Well, let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy them. <clears throat> True, what they say is serious wonder the scariest when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? So, 
Oh yes, we should explain this room. So this is the computer room. Computer ah. room. But this computer room isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is like super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing that you can even use it to create a new world. New world. Okay. Oh yeah, new world. You can use this to create a new world. Hmm? Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I already forgotten the plan. Huh? You totally said way too much. Sorry. Wow, I knew it. Oh. You're so forgetful, Montaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. Oh. Sorry. Why didn't you help him modify? Huh? huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? So why didn't you? I cannot forgive Your friends, that. right? So why didn't you help him? Well, um... I will not forgive that. If you can't get along, you will all be punished. You too, Montaro. Friends share the same even punishment. Yeah. What? Backfire? So long, farewell! This machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? But... I'm not good with computers, so I don't think I'd understand it, no matter how much I investigate. New world. Treasure chest. I open the chest eagerly. And... I found one. A flashback light. With this, I can figure out what this place is and why we're here. But before that. <laughs> oh, you found the flashback light. Ooh, you're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect uh, that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Suichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. He chatted away, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left a waving goodbye. But before that... There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? That little I know about computers, I don't think it's any chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. <coughs> So, do I want to go downstairs? Now where am I going? Dining hall? Suichi, is that true that you found another flashback okay. light? Yeah, it's true. Wait, so Kokichi wasn't lying. I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Thank goodness. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing, too, because I don't want to set my pants on Actually, fire. I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito isn't here yet. Oh, wait. Ah. Maka is not here either. Ah. Oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite huh? her. Huh? You didn't invite hey. her? Hey! Forget about that killer. Hey, Mui. Keyboy, did you guys see the computer in the room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. What would you t would you take a look at it later? You or Kiwa might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm not very computer savvy. What? Oh, is that so? That's unexpected. <laughs> I have been meaning to ask, but Ki but Kiba, what is your talent well... exactly? Well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. But I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I say so myself. Don't worry. Kiwa's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got- Do not mock me! I just told you I'm good at one-man comedy shows. Mm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? <laughs> but I'm not gonna come just for some computer. It's gonna take way more uh, than that. Um... Well, the Mono Cubs did say it was amazing. No. Hey, thanks for waiting. Ah. Uh. Kaito and... Huh? Mackay? Why is Mackie with of you? Of course! Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? When you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional kid? I'm leaving. Come on, man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kaito gripped Mackie's arm before she could leave. By the way. Kaito, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so, 
I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um... Is it true you really are the ultimate assassin? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. Really? What? Well, why are you hiding? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this huh? way. What? Because... When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them That's... first. That's... That's not... What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Huh? Always. Always. Mm. <laughs> you've proved a li you've lived a pretty sad life, Mac guy. That's so mean. Oh, poor, poor Mac guy. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to oh, cry. I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay <laughs> to him. Can you let go of me now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Kaito finally let go of her arm and let and Mac I let out of sight. It's okay. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. Mm -hmm. Someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? Are you talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you unless one of you tries to kill <sighs> me first. Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... <laughs> so you guys mind your business, all my mind, and we all agree to avoid each other. Please just pretend I'm not even here. Mac guy. It started as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaito, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say, we're all disappointed in you, right, guys? No. I wouldn't say that, Tell but me your thoughts. shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback light. Hey, yes. Everyone. Yes. So have we all decided what we're going to do? Sneak attack! Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new. <sighs> like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit. Of course it's got something to do with why. Hey! Hey, instead of arguing, you way faster to just use it, you You're know? You're right! Yeah, don't to worry, but we gotta do it. But, but... No matter what we remember, you can't think of wanting to leave this place. Come on, come on! If you think like uh -oh. that, we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me! I know that, and we can't go around repeating we ourselves. must do it. Then let's give it a try. Suichi, go for uh... it. I'm a little nervous. I'm just sort of plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me, and I flicked on the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, the world warped. My conscious went white, it's somewhere that in that whiteness a scene played. <coughs> they were so young and talented. How could this happen? Hmm. It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident though? I honestly can't <coughs> believe that. Whoa, what was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Well, why was that my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Suichi? It would appear we all remembered the same thing. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck does it mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? Why? What the hell is going on? What was the funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing the funeral. Nothing no else. No way! Maybe we already dead? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Jeez, this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then, then what was I it? I mean, it was probably a memory of our school festival or what? something. School That's festival? Right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play we did for the school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think of about course. it? If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. Mm. That's true. Um, Aren't we all from different high schools? Wouldn't, the, wouldn't why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's. <coughs> well, that's. We'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral is real. There's no mistaking logical. that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, there's clearly a 
That's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness! Okay, good. Going to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me. I'm alive. Hail and hearty. <laughs> Party? Could you get hard every time you see me? Oh, yeah! Oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? What? Stay in your lane, bitch. <gasps> I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. I'm disappointed. Man, what a disappointment. Huh? Disappointment. Mm -hmm. It's true. This flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't we didn't find that about anything in the open hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Seriously, talk about a disappointment. -uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. <coughs> what? It's a lie. No, just nothing. I'm lying again. Don't worry about it. I wish you haven't said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw. It can't be a memory of a real funeral. You have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. <laughs> I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral I can't stop thinking about. <laughs> But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. Yeah, everyone's here actually. I could ask Monokuma for a hint, but that would that would help us. Hmm. I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out, clear my head. Free time. All right. Is anyone even here? tube isn't here, did Monica will put it away? <clears throat> I'm so disappointed in Kaito. Why does he care so much about the killer girl? Maybe he's trying to suck up to Makai so that she doesn't kill him. Shh, fine. We'll okay. hang out with this guy. Let's think of ways to protect ourselves from the killer girl. I spent time with Kokichi. Despite my misgivings, would you like to- do I don't even have anything, do I? <laughs> I don't think I can give him this stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I, he would want that. Shuichi! So you want to talk to me? You must be pretty reckless, Shuichi. I'm the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Because. So you say, but does that really mean anything in what's this organization you're in? Uh huh? Didn't I tell you? I'm the supreme leader of a secret evil organization. Hmm. Yeah, you said yeah. that, but... <clears throat> it's pretty impressive. It has over 10,000 members. But... You've said that as well, but I can't think of any organization that fits the description. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I'm also a liar too, you know. Okay. Yeah, you've mentioned it's it. It's true! But I'm telling the truth when I say I'm the supreme leader of a secret evil organization. I get dizzy talking to Kokichi. I feel like I forget how my words work. Um... But an organization controls the entire world, but of course it's behind the scenes. All the world's mafia syndicates are under my command. Oh, man. They'll get into turf wars if I don't control them, and that's just the trouble for everyone. <clears throat> it's a pain, especially since peace is the best thing for the world. I don't think I can believe the world's, the words of the evil, the words of the leader of an evil organization. Ah. Oh yeah, which is why I do the same thing with the government too. I control politicians with blackmail, I manipulate the stock market on a whim. <coughs> I have subordinates all over the world, the White House, Kurlim, Beijing, Wall Street, London, even Tokyo Stock Exchange. You know? 
I make one phone call and the world changes. Let me know if you get bored with the world. Uh... Are you supporting it's coming for you? Then... Are you supporting it's coming for you? Oh, man. Who knows? I'm a pretty dickish dictator. They're probably happy with their boss being gone. Mm. Ah, My I dad. See. Are you disappointed? Sorry, evil organizations don't really need a leader. Hmm. They can function by themselves. Do you see the kind of hardship I go through now? Shuichi! So now that you know about it, Suichi, you must die. Wait! Wait, you told me. I didn't even ask. You got me! Oh, yeah. Oopsie poopsie, I'm such a ditz. Then I'll let you live for now since I've messed up, but I'll kill you eventually. Uh, um... You serious? Yeah. yeah, for realsies, I hate lies and jokes. Just kidding, I lied again. <coughs> Kokichi's report card. I returned to my room, mind and body exhausted. Why am I so tired just from talking? He said he would kill me, he's just lying, right? This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. Betty bye for you us. Bastards. You two should be sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Oh, the three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? Uh, 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 as close uh, uh. as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in three triple bunk beds. Yeah. <coughs> huh? But whoever's in the top bunk might fall out of bed and die. I don't know if we're that close. That timer sign. Nighttime. I have training with Kaito. We haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're going to do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. Okay. Well. Hmm. Looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then suddenly. Yo! Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing huh? her. Her? Huh? Mackie, why is Mackie? Like here? I'd know. That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom. I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. Then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way Idiot. here. Idiot! <laughs> well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training three of us. Is that really the reason you dragged me out here? This is stupid. I'm going back. Huh. Heh, you call him this stupid? Listen up! When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, 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 and then train some more. This is what training is. It's more important for a hero like me. Right. So you guys can be my like my super dog cat or horse by my side to help me be the hero. Uh, um, of all the examples you could have picked. I'm right already. Do you really think that crazy explanation would convince this me to stay? This is stupid. This is still stupid. I'm going Hold back. Up. Hold on a sec. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know... Even super pesting in themselves as heroes. Let's do it! The same goes to both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own story. So act more like it. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. Who knows will end badly if you don't? Why are you being so difficult? Hey, so... How long are you going to run away? Huh? What? Kaito brought his face close to Maka's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down, I could tell just by looking at you today. <laughs> So you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. They just pretend I'm not even here. I mean... You're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so... What's your enemy? What? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is as long as you know it yourself. Listen up! So how long are you going to run away from your huh? enemy? Run away? Seriously? Come yeah, on! Yeah, you've been running away, it's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it even a little... Huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Mackay's getting angry. Kaito is just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey! So what are you going Kaito. to do? Hey Kaito, it's okay, you don't okay, have to. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? Huh? You'll do it? Then... Get the wrong idea, it'll just bug me later if I refuse. Huh. <laughs> so you do get it. <sighs> The only way to do with idiots like him is just to give up and keep nodding. What? You don't get it at all. Huh. Whatever. You just better get ready because I won't hold back. Just because you're a girl. Hey. Well, what are we doing first? Right. First, 100 push-ups. 
somehow Makina ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. Not bad! Shuichi, you're getting better! Hey Kaito, no slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. <laughs> I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. I thought we were doing a hundred. Hey, what about you, Maki? Hundred might be too hard for you, so... 91, 92, 93, 94... Oh, damn. What? That fast? Damn. Satisfied? 100, I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. You're done already? What? You're not even out of breath, huh? I guess you trained before. <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, that's... Before coming here, it did me some warm. So I already did 500 push-ups, so... Kaito, that was the best lie you could come up <laughs> with. <clears throat> anyway, I'm done, and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my Got room. It. Okay, we're doing training tomorrow, too. You better be there. Maki ignored Kaito and left without a word. Jeez. Jeez, why she's gotta be so difficult? Um. Hey, Kaito. Why did you do all this to help her? Hmm? If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave uh, them. Um. Weak and suffering? Mac that's guy? right. Well, in that sense, you're... Nah. No, your case is a little huh? different. What do you mean? Shut up! Nothing. Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, <laughs> right? So are you. Huh? Why are you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I no. got here. Nice try, Kaito. <laughs> Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We just agreed to start over, and, by the t and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. So tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. <laughs> Kaito bringing Makai. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Mac I came in the first place. Kaito, you really are something else. My eyelids close as I continue talking to myself and eventually I drifted to sleep. <coughs> God damn, my throat is fucking Curious? Curious what we monocubs do when you're not around? I'll tell you. We listen to forging music and laugh at the funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day in the lounge in the air-conditioned room. And when we go out together, they usually make me steal. See, we're such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away, when I get caught stealing. <coughs> okay, little bro. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement. Please assemble in the Let's gym. Get along. Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. <laughs> oh, Mono Dim, you're really obsessed with this whole getting along That's thing. That's right. Friends is the only show you watch this now. I will not forgive that. If you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use the exosols to peel your faces off like mandarin oranges. How gory. Please, that is so gory. Please get along, everyone. <laughs> ah. She puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Monofaint's blue puke will have good luck. So long. Farewell. Assemble in the gym, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, I'm gonna end this off here. Uh. Yeah. We'll go to the whatever it is gym assembly that these fuckers have set up next episode. <clears throat> Anyways, later.